as you know by now, I love books. And this next sort of company, publisher, I don't know what it's called, uh, it's they do books for royalty. Like these are the cream of the crap when it comes to books. They are magnificent. And if you're considering buying this book, I'll leave a link below. It's an affiliate link. So if you click on that, you will uh, get tossed to Amazon. And if you decide to buy the book, I get a small uh, commission. But with that being said, uh, I urge everyone to to buy the book. From I mean, there's a million bookstores out in the world. Uh, buy uh, in any bookshop you you uh, want. I just I leave the link below. Okay. So what am I talking about? Well, it's just covered by Tushan. If you don't know about Tushan, please do yourself a favor and go to their uh, web page, uh, browse a little bit through their inventory and I think you get a, a pretty strong picture of what they are. They have made some of the best, most beautiful, well-written coffee table books that I have ever come, come uh, across when collecting books. They, they dabble in a lot of uh, different genres like photography and art and movies. I have some of those. Uh, but um, in this channel, uh, obviously, I'm, I'm only going to show you the, the sort of music related books by, by Tashan in the future. Uh, so, but I thought that this is, is a great book to, to start it off uh, with when it comes to, to Tushin books. So the main man today is this one, as I showed you, this is the Jazz Cover by Tushin. Uh, it's a monster, not only in, in content, but in size. <laughs> it's a monster <laughs> book. Um, this weighs in at about four or five kilos, which is about 10 pounds. Uh, just to give you a little bit of an understanding of what we're handling here. It's a humongous coffee table book and it all almost like craves a coffee table to read it because if you have it in your lap um, I'll bet your legs will get numb after a while because it's such a heavy ass book. The book relies mostly on very sort of lush and elusive pictures of in this case record covers and and the glossy big thick quality pages really does these uh, these uh, pictures justice i mean it's it's top quality all the way and as always when it comes to tashan's books uh, i like what they did with the sort of texts there's a little bit of a text snippet uh, in between the the cover artworks or the pictures in three different languages you have it in sort of i think german italian or german french and 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 english and these sort of i mean i don't think that the texts in this case is something super new to all jazz fans at least but i think it breaks away a little bit from from the sort of just being a book that you watch pictures in. To me personally, I don't like books with only f photography. So I like to read a book, if you know what I mean, like really read a book. Uh, so in this, the text is like a companion to what we see or stuff around it. The only real like negative thing I, I have about the book is that they used a wrap around it. Uh, it's thick. Card, almost cardboard-esque, good quality, awesome, like lettering on the wrap. But it's a wrap. I mean, I don't like it. I don't like wraps. They uh, get ugly so fast. It, I mean, it, it doesn't doesn't take much to to rip a little bit of it. And and uh, yeah, I I actually don't have any more Tushan books that have this sort of wrap so I don't know why they did it on, on this one uh, but that's the only kind of complaint that I have <laughs> for being a wrap it's a good nice looking wrap it's high quality and I think that the cover of the book the 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 the, the, the sort of the record that they choose to have on the front is, is a perfect example uh, I get to this in a little bit but it's it's a perfect example where um, you have high detail uh, good minimalistic like Tashan's books um, but also a little bit of a splash of color which is, is nice in this case uh, but the, the actual uh, cover on the book says something which brings us to con content because a book could be so beautiful uh, but it doesn't matter if there's nothing in it like if there's no con uh, content uh, at all and I'm glad to say that it really has 
great, great content. The easiest thing to do in this case, I think, doing this kind of book is just to 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 um, uh, take a shotgun and, and shoot like very famous cover artworks into the book so that everyone uh, knows every single picture that you uh, you see. All the, the record covers in there are known uh, uh, record covers, but that would be so dull. Like if you're a jazz buff, you have seen all those blue notes and, and uh, uh, impulse record sleeves so many times. There's nothing new about it. They are beautiful, absolutely, but there has to be more. And I think that this book, Yes Covers book, it, it really proves that. What I love about this book is that it's it feels like it's a personal book. It's almost like coming home to an old jazz nerd and going through his collection. You have the usual suspects like your Blue Notes and the Impulses and, and, and stuff like the ACM. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. But once in a while, and it happens a lot, I mean, I think I'm pretty, pretty well traveled in the land of jazz. But there were a lot of record covers that I had never seen and records that I never listened to. So um, I can say this. My Discogs want list page grew a little bit uh, after listening to a snippet or two from some of these uh, records. And the funny thing is that it's not like these super rare, um, obscure, ex super expensive records either. You, uh, some of these records that I thought sounded really, really interesting was like eight, nine, ten dollar records. So uh, it really contributes to something when it comes to your jazz knowledge and jazz collection it's so like i said it's it feels like even if it's a big corporate sort of book it feels like it's personal you get a glimpse into a person's record collection where there is famous uh, well-known records and there's these obscure ones that is in my opinion even more exciting and interesting and i mean you've seen it and uh, some details i showed you some details of this uh, it's a heavy book almost five kilos and this costs $50, like uh, about 50 euro today. Maybe it goes up, maybe it goes down. I have no idea, but today it's $50. I checked the, the link down below. Uh, and I mean, what do you get for 50 bucks? You get two records or something like that. They go into the to the collection and I mean, be my guest, do it. I, I just, it, I love books. And this is sort of the perfect um, coffee table book this will never leave my my sort of book collection on my bookshelf it's a fantastic contribute to to uh, to my to my collection so obviously jazz covers by Tashin gets my highest recommendations and i just want to to point out that uh, there they did two versions of this there's this big sort of king kong version and then there's i think uh, a smaller like version uh, so just uh, if you decide to get it, just uh, know what you get because I think it's another price uh, on the smaller one, just so you don't get <laughs> get um, surprised when uh, there's a small one coming in the mail. So that's it. If you're not a subscriber, you don't have to be. Uh, but if you don't subscribe, there's a special place in hell for those who don't. Uh, and uh, give this a thumbs up if you do. We can spread this uh, to even more people. It's all about the sort of the YouTube algorithm. And I mean, I have a foil hat, but I don't use it in the in the videos. Uh, maybe I should. So uh, I see you in my next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.